Welcome, and thanks for purchasing the CE Smith Trailer in a Box. We're going to dive right into this instructional DVD to give you an overview of the trailer's assembly. Sit back, relax, and let's get started. As we start to unpack the box, we're going to separate the products into six major categories. The first category we'll pull out is the rail hardware, the frame components itself, the tongue, and rear tongue support. The lower carriage consists of the wheels, axle, U-bolts, and spring assembly. Fenders include brackets and all the mounting hardware. the bunk boards, and fully adjustable brackets. As we get to the final assembly, we'll install the winch post with the winch, the bow stop, the coupler, safety chains, and then we'll move into the lights. Now that we're comfortable with the components of the trailer, let's get started with the assembly. We're going to start off with the rail kit and the rail hardware. Your assembly will go easier if you're working on a clean, flat surface. We're going to start by having the rails with the holes in the rear of the rails in the up position. We'll start by mounting the spring hanger brackets to the rail. The front has the two eyes, the rear is the slipper. Go ahead and attach those now bring the springs over a little later. Let's identify the front of the tongue by the two holes in the bottom. Let's then install the wire grommet into the front of the tongue as pictured. It's easier right now to route the wire harness from the front through the grommet and down through the tongue. When we get to the back of the tongue, we're going to then use the rear tongue support and go through the center hole. We'll go ahead and put the long bolt from the bottom side up through the rear tongue support, through the tongue, and into the top. Make sure not to pinch the wire as it should go through. No need to tighten this at this point. Next we'll bring the rails into the tongue. We'll use four carriage bolts with washers inside to attach. Again, leave this loose at this time. The front tongue bolts get washers on both sides. Next we'll locate the two cross members. The two cross members are installed facing each other between the main side rails. They're held in place by two carriage bolts on each end of each cross member. It's important that the two cross members are installed with the center two holes facing down. Time to tighten the entire frame assembly. We'll start with the cross members, front and rear, proceed to the rear tongue support, then go to the front of the tongue, and finish up by tightening the single bolt through the rear of the tongue and the rear cross member. Prior to the assembly of the lower running gear, we need to determine whether we're going to assemble with the axle above the springs as pictured on the left or below the springs as pictured on the right. We highly recommend you install your axle below the springs. This will allow your trailer to be two inches taller and more in line with your SUVs or pickup trucks. For the sake of the instructions, we're going to assemble the axle above the leaf springs. We intend to tow this behind a small vehicle. Let's make yourself familiar with the running gear components as we'll get started. Let's start by rolling the axle over so that the holes in the bottom of the axles are facing up. 
lay both springs over the top of the axle, aligning the bolts through the springs to the hole that we've already rotated in the up position. To have your axle below the springs, simply turn over the springs, putting the button through the hole on the axle. We're going to slide the U-bolts from below the axle through the tie plates and attach with the 3 8 bolts. You don't need to tighten the tie plates at this point. Let's carry the whole assembly over to the frame. Next, let's insert the slipper portion of the spring into the rear slipper hanger. Next, put the eye of the spring into the spring hanger. This gets a bolt through there to hold it in place, but acts as a pivot. Do not over tighten it. Go ahead and evenly tighten the U-bolts holding the springs to the axle. Put the wheels and tires on. We'll tighten them now, but we'll torque them later. Now that we've got our trailer assembled upside down, we're going to want to roll it over for the final assembly. Let's get the fender hardware kit out and get the fenders on. The fender brackets mount inside the fenders using the slotted screws from the outside of the fenders and a lock nut inside. Finger tighten them now, we can tighten them up later. The fender is bolted to the frame rail with a washer on each side. We're ready to mount the lights to the brackets and then to the frames using carriage bolts. The side marker lights are mounted to the frame forward of the fenders. There are three holes there. Put the wire through one hole, the bolt that attaches the light through the second. Route the wires down each side of the frame rail until you get to where the side marker lights are. Carefully split the wire harness near the side marker light so you can splice the wire in. Use the four clips provided to attach the wire to the frame rail. When finished routing the wires, strip the wires and prepare to push them into the back sockets of the lights. The lights are marked brown or green and yellow. Push them into the appropriate slots. Now let's attach the safety chains and tongue skid to the front of the trailer. Insert the bolt with the washers through the chains as shown. Prior to attaching the coupler, we need to attach a eyed wire connector onto the white ground wire. One of the coupler bolts will attach this to the trailer. The spacer provided is inserted into the tongue to add support on the front bolt only for the coupler. The rear bolt with the ground wire attached simply goes through the back of the coupler. The tow vehicle portion of the wire harness is also provided. See your owner's manual for instructions. The winch post is mounted on the tongue sloping toward the coupler. You'll need to attach the winch handle to the winch. The bow roller and winch are then attached to the winch post. Okay, let's start with the bunk boards. We're going to first grab the hardware kit and attach the swivel assemblies to the risers. Your bunk board brackets may have come pre-assembled. You might be able to skip this step. We'll first attach the bunk board brackets to the frame, then attach the bunks to the brackets. Confident that the instructional DVD will help you assemble your trailer easier. Refer to the printed instructions, and if you have any questions, there's an 800 number in the back. Please give us a call.